We are beginning tonight with the Central Coast Police Force possibly becoming the target of a state probe. We're talking about the King City Police Force that last year was caught up in that department-wide scandal. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live with tonight's top story. And Aaron, it's that scandal that's driving Assemblyman Luis Alejo to request a department-wide audit of the King City Police Force. We were given the letter late last week and requested to be in Sacramento tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. City leaders and the police chief trying to put a department-wide scandal behind them say they were blindsided by Assemblyman Luis Alejo's call for a department-wide audit of the police force. There's a part of me that says, Let's do an audit. Um, but at the same time, I do question the, the timing of this. Uh, we've been dealing with these issues for a year and a half now. And where was the, the push then from our assemblymen to do an audit? Uh, where was the welcoming to the new chief? The third week of June, uh, met with the police chief. I called the, more recently on the audit, I called the city manager. And I offered that if the police chief had any questions to call me. Uh, he hasn't called me yet, so I have reached out to him. Assemblyman Alejo will argue for the audit Tuesday morning before a legislative committee in Sacramento. The request coming as a result of last year's department-wide scandal that put four officers and two chiefs behind bars on a variety of charges. Alejo said an audit is a step forward in rebuilding trust between police and the public. The assemblyman said he waited until now to request an audit to give city leaders time to decide whether or not they were going to keep the police force. The new chief said he welcomes an outside audit. Any, any audit is good. I mean, if you own a business, anything's good to ch show us our mistakes or our downfalls or whatever else like that. I mean, again, I mean, um, we don't live in a perfect world, so anything like that was definitely going to help us. I take all input from everybody. Certainly, there's a, a major need for reform, and I think the auditor's um, uh, work will only help make make this hopefully a model department that the King City community could be very proud of. Now, both the police chief and mayor will be traveling to Sacramento tomorrow morning to attend that hearing and may actually testify during it. If lawmakers approve that audit, the audit itself could be a six-month process. Aaron? And obviously, we'll take some resources out of King City and other places to comply with that audit. Well, and that was something that came up today during uh, today's press conference that uh, the, the mayor said he clearly welcomes the audit if if it doesn't take away resources from the uh, city's, uh, the King City's Police Department. Right. All right. Thank you, Felix. We, of course, will be following tomorrow's developments, following that hearing. We'll have any updates beginning on Action News at midday. Also in King City, a public plea today from the city's homicide detective. Alan Rowe is in charge of investigating 28 murders, many of them cold cases that date back 15 years or more. The detective hopes to crack some of the murder investigations, but he needs help. You just never know what happens in someone's lives that will stimulate them to say, you know what, I've had something on my heart for a long time and I want to tell you about it. If you have any information regarding any King City murder, you are asked to call King City Police. They also want to remind you that you can choose to remain anonymous.